He'd say, you know why I always start with the portrait? I said, no, governor, I don't know why I always start with the portrait. He goes, I want to make sure you haven't moved it. I said, well, governor, why would I move your portrait? He goes, Chris, you have to promise me that you will never move my portrait while you're here. And I said, governor, I wouldn't move your portrait. He goes, don't put it in the dead hallway. First of all, he's one of the most charming, uh, bright people I've ever been around in any walk of life. Um, he showed uh, political courage in a way that I think a lot of politicians are, have lost uh, the ability to do or never had. And uh, I think he will be admired and long remembered for the legacies of good things that he had done for our state. It meant a lot to me personally, he was a personal friend. He and Governor Kane represent the legends, the icons of the state. And he's one half of that bookend. And so it's, it's a great loss. It's a loss for, obviously, for Ruthie and for the family, but for New Jersey. As he, we'd often joke, um, he was the closest thing New Jersey will ever have a, to a patron saint. But then again, it's New Jersey. He served us as a judge, he served us as a prosecutor, he served us as a BPU commissioner, and obviously as a governor for eight years. And he did it all with integrity. Nobody ever questioned Brendan Burns' integrity. And uh, I would say in modern history, uh, the best two governors were Tom Kane and Brendan Byrne, and that's, that's a high uh, compliment. But on a serious note, he fought for the Highlands, for income tax, for making the right decisions, for making New Jersey stronger. So we're incredibly, incredibly indebted for his leadership, for his guts, for his fortitude, and for his sense of justice. So today, Brendan, we celebrate you, we miss you, and I want you to know, and I think you do know, that today all of us in this auditorium, all of us in the state, are waving at you with all five fingers. There will be a void in our lives not being able to sit with him again and laugh. His life was a great joy. Great joy not only to his family, but to everyone who had the privilege of spending some time with him.